Okay guys, you wanted it. You've asked for it. You've been commenting. This is finally gonna be the tour of our new rig. Are you ready? Let's go inside. Okay guys, we got coffee. We got you hanging out with us and we're finally gonna do the tour of a brand new 2021 Keystone Cougar 364 BHL, <laughs> man. Yay. Delin is here, we're in recovery mode. Yeah, and thank you so much for all your love and your thoughts and your comments and prayers. Like, Absolutely. You guys rock. And you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna tell you the number one reason why we chose this model over all the ones that we toured. And we're also going to share a couple of things we found that really annoy us. Yes! It's just annoying! All right, all right, all right, all right. Just let's get to it, huh? All right, so behind me is our bedroom, and this is a big deciding factor for us about why we wanted to choose a new rig. We realized in George that our bedrooms were so close to each other, so we couldn't really talk, we couldn't really just have private time, and it just was valuable to us as a couple, and really to the guys as well. As they're growing up and becoming teenagers, they just need their own space. So the floor plan had to have opposing bedrooms inside the rig. The storage inside this master bedroom is surprisingly plentiful, even with a large picture window taking up what would normally be an overhead storage area. With cabinets on each side of the bed, with charging ports and 120 volt power, this master bedroom is pretty dialed in. Even better yet, there's a three cabinet wardrobe maximizing hanging space. And lastly, the massive under the bed storage space. Okay, so underneath the bed storage. We didn't have this in George. Yes, we had the big pass through, but this under the bed storage is awesome. So while it's not too super fancy as far as like an RV bathroom goes, it's pretty standard. What is kind of cool about this bathroom is that it has an extra large pantry with shelves built in and additional drawers underneath. Of course, it comes with a medicine cabinet above the sink, as well as under the sink, there are these drawers and a side cabinet for more storage as well. One thing we really loved about this bathroom is that it has two entrances. One that can get you in from the hallway out here and another entrance that can get you in here from the master bedroom. Okay, friends, let me share with you what is not so perfect about this RV. This is our bathroom and the sink is like right here under this. So when you're brushing your teeth and try, oh, 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 try to like, you have to like do this. That is so stupid. Are you kidding me? Bad design, people. Bad design. I see a renovation in our future. All right, guys, we're gonna head down to the living area, which is one of the best areas that they featured in this entire rig. Scope this entire area out. This island right here for a central feature inside of this living area is fantastic. This little rack down here, I suppose you could use it for books or magazines, different things like that. We happen to use it for spices. We call it our spice rack. This is a cutting board slash cover for this side of the sink, right? This over here is a drying rack. This is actually pretty cool. I don't know why they don't have drying racks like this just for standard house sinks. This is a tremendous feature. You're washing, and you're drying right away without consuming the rest of this countertop with like a towel and a whole stack of dishes. Moving on down the line, you have these drawers. There's four of them here. This is a full size drawer, guys. This is great because RVs sometimes just have those half drawers. All right, moving on to the fridge. I'm actually really pumped on this. We used to have a residential fridge and that caused us some power issues, especially when we wanted to boondock. This is a Dometic refrigerator, which allows me to turn it from electric or LP so it can bounce between either one automatically 
for designated. So I absolutely love that for that reason. And it's a big old fridge. It's got double doors on both the fridge and the freezer. So it gives us lots of storage space. This is the cooking central station right here, guys. Number one's a microwave. For those of you that use it, it's awesome. It's basically a glorified cabinet for us. More cabinet space up here. Delin's got two little cubbies that she can stuff all of her tea in, something I don't drink, but she enjoys. Our Furion stove cooktop, oven, and even some storage underneath that mug. And one quick thing before I move on is the covering of this stove. All it is is flip up and flip back, and that's it. There's nothing to be stored anywhere. You're done cooking, you let the surface cool, you just flip this back down, boom, bang, Bob's your uncle, there you go. Now, if you're looking for features inside of a kitchen, especially for storage, behind me right there is the granddaddy of them all. That's a full blown pantry. Let's go check it out. Dude, guys, okay, check this out. This is massive. It is four shelves plus stuff on the floor. I mean, my goodness, guys, we could fit so much stuff in here. It's amazing. Yes, pantry, word up. You see that light right there? The light at the end of the bed? Yeah, that's a light switch. Instead, it's a permanent night light. And that is something that annoys me to no end about this rig. I've got to fix that. That's a table. I bet you don't know what to do there, right? <laughs> it's for eating. It also collapses down for a sleeper, for a tiny kid, or maybe like a stretch out little sofa with additional storage underneath the seats. All you gotta do is flip up those seat tops. And, all right, so you might be thinking, wow, Jay, what are you doing underneath the table? Well, that's because I wanna show you these sturdy legs here. Not these sturdy legs, but these sturdy legs. These actually give legs that are supportive. Uh, this isn't perfect, it's still wobbly a little bit back and forth, but it's definitely a sturdy table, so that part's pretty cool. Oh, and this couch, just in case you were wondering. Or it could be a couch for like, when you wanna just lay here with your feet up and not do anything and long live relaxation and entertainment. And you got entertainment storage right here, which actually doesn't really make sense. TV, storage up here, and if you just want to kick it without the TV, dude, look at that bomb fireplace. Change the colors, you can do heat, you can do no heat, that's pretty dang cool. Okay guys, the moment you've been waiting for. Behind this door is the reveal. This is the number one reason why we chose this model over every other model that we looked at. was the deal maker and not the deal breaker. And here is why. You see there's a bed down here, full size bed. Bed up here, loft section, full size, okay? Not tiny. We're not kidding when we tell you that we looked at over 50 different floor plans, all kinds of models, all kinds of different manufacturers. And when we saw this particular layout, we were sold. Guys, this was a tremendous option. And not only does it have the awesome bed, but dude, check this out. This huge wardrobe, they can hang all their stuff, put all their things inside. When you open up the wardrobe, there's different little drawers in here. Very cool, cool space, right? And not just that, let's, let's go upstairs to this little loft area. This is a big space, like it's a huge full-size bunk, basically a full-size loft. So yes, while it's a bunk bed, it's not quite the same. It's actually a really huge space that can have independent TVs, lots of storage for both kids. It's just a great way to live if you're gonna have a, oh, hey Lily, look who just joined the show. Hi. We came around the corner and saw the bedroom with the loft, and then it just kept going into this bathroom area. We were like, oh, oh, we found the rig. 
this is it. Because what it does is it allows us to have our own bathroom space and the guys their own bathroom space. They can get ready, brush their teeth, get up in the middle of the night and go to their bathroom. It is so convenient. When we saw this, we said, we're done looking. This is the rig. This is the one. We've always promised you the not so perfect side of things. So lover, should we show them what we really had to do in order to make this tour happen today? <laughs> Totally. Okay, all right, so scope this out, guys. You think this is all perfect? Look at here, check this out. This is inside the bathroom. We had to quick shove boxes from out here and into here. And oh, yes, look at this. This was all clean, just and primmed and proper just a few minutes ago. We just literally moved boxes from room to room to room today as we made this tour happen. Not just that, but there's a bunch of boxes outside, too. Look <laughs> all over outside. This is really our rig, but it's just not really this pretty yet. Yeah. Wow, these hinges are super strong. 